Hello YouTube, thank you for stopping by. This video is part three of my Devil Forge video series where I document the steps I took to get my new forge prepped, mounted to a cart, hooked up to a couple propane tanks, and fired up for the first time. Anyways, I hope you like the video. If you do happen to enjoy this video, please click like and be sure to watch the other videos in this series. I would really appreciate it if you would also click on the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet. And if you would like to get email notifications anytime I publish a new video, be sure to click on the bell-shaped notify button as well. Okay, let's pick up where we left off. Okay, so let me explain what's going on here. The inside of the forge uses a ceramic wool product called KO wool on the inside as an insulator. It is a great insulator. Unfortunately, there is a problem with it in that when it heats up, small particles of the ceramic wool come loose and fly out of the forge propelled by the hot air. If you breathe these particles into your lungs, it can cause some serious health issues. For this reason, I am applying a chemical called a rigidizer, which will basically glue all of these fibers together and keep them from flying around. The process is simple. Dunk the KO wool into the rigidizer, place it into the forge, and provide shaping and support for the KO wool as the rigidizer cures to keep the KO wool from drooping inside the forge while everything hardens up. That's what we're doing here. So after soaking the KO wool in rigidizer and getting it stuffed back into the forge, I wired up some uh, lamp sockets and hung some 60 watt bulbs inside to produce heat just a little bit to help dry out the rigidizer. It worked really well. Everything's good to go. And now I'll be taking those out so that we can um, uh, put the, uh, gosh, what do you call it? The ceramic Ceramic Radiant Heat Reflection and Protective Coating. <laughs> anyway, so that's the next thing that's going in there. So now that the kale wool inside the forge has been coated with the uh, sim wool rigidizer coating, 
as well as the uh, ceramic radiant heat reflection and protective coating, uh, the ITC100HT. Um, I've now got the 60 watt bulbs reinserted and we're going to let it uh, bake a little bit, heat up a little bit just to um, hasten the cure time. So my buddy Tom helped me uh, solder this 3 8 um, flare nipple to the gas inlet for this three burner assembly. Uh, but with the weight of all these uh, attachments, the valve, and then eventually the, uh, the propane hose hanging off of this, that's a lot of weight. Uh, so I'm going to weld in a, a, a piece of strap steel uh, diagonally uh, to just under here, and then I'll probably use something like a U-bolt to uh, hold it up and then help support the weight of this. So uh, that's what we're going to do next. So as you can see, my forge card is currently upside down, so I can mark uh, some holes. This is a two propane tank uh, clamp. Uh, you get a couple propane tanks on it. You uh, clamp them down with uh, with these guys. So I'm going to uh, I flip the card over. And I will be, uh, looks like I'll have to flip this over as well to mark the holes, drill them, and then we'll get this mounted onto the uh, bottom of the uh, forge cart.
the sport with the uh, sim roll rigidizer. Um, let it dry, baked it with light bulbs, and then uh, coated the, uh, the surface with the uh, ceramic radiant heat uh, reflection coating, which is supposed to help keep the uh, heat inside. Uh, anyway, long story short, I neglected to do anything with the kale bowl on this floor. So, try to rectify that situation now. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment. Be sure to click like if you enjoyed the video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get notifications when I post my next video. Bye for now.